Are dogs and cats really smarter than AI? This is Declan Dunn, the AI optimist helping entrepreneurs, small businesses, and creators take advantage of AI before it takes advantage of them. But that doesn't look like it's going to be happening soon. And in episode 64, AGI, the emperor's new code isn't as smart as my dog, we're going to look at where this AGI hype came from. Whether AI is proving to cost us jobs for real. Can AI be sentient and conscious like us? Reality check. And in the end, showing the biggest threat to AI improving is us and something we're doing wrong. More on that later when we show the Achilles heel of current AI development, but let's unwind the fear clock and witness the irony of control. Big tech's desire to control AGI versus fear of losing control to AGI. Is that a real fear? These control issues start with the first predictions of the book Superintelligence by Nick Bostra and the rabbit hole that led us to where we are today. Superintelligence. Reading that was a wild ride. Hmm. It basically says superintelligence isn't just about AI being as smart as us, it's about it being way smarter than anything we can even imagine. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around, isn't it? The article talks about superintelligence potentially solving these huge problems that humans have been struggling with for centuries, making incredible discoveries, but also the possibility of consequences we can't even predict. It's that classic fear of creating something we can't control. And they use that unfinished fable of the sparrows. Remember that? The one where the sparrows decide to raise a powerful owl chick to like do their bidding, but they don't stop to think about what will happen when it grows up get stronger than them. Yeah, it's a powerful analogy. And what makes it even more intense is that it's not even about malicious intent. Like even a super intelligence programmed with good intentions could still be dangerous if those goals aren't exactly the same as ours. Because even a simple goal mm -hmm. in the hands of an intelligence that's way beyond us could have totally unpredictable outcomes. Exactly. It's like giving a toddler a bulldozer, right? They might have good intentions, but who knows what might happen? And that's the big message I took away from that article. We have to be so careful, so thoughtful with all kinds of AI development, not just the stuff that makes headlines, ethical implications, potential risks. We've got to be thinking about that right from the start. Man, it's a lot to take in. And it does make you wonder if we're getting in over our heads a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I can understand that feeling. But ignoring it isn't the answer either, right? The best thing we can do is try to stay informed, have these conversations, and approach it all with a balance of, like, excitement and caution. You know, it's funny. I think what's so fascinating about all of this and also kind of unsettling is that this isn't, you know, some science fiction movie we're talking about. It's real. It's happening right now. Yeah. And honestly, I think that's why we wanted to do this deep dive in the first place. Right. We've got to grapple with this stuff. Think about the bigger picture, even if it gets a little, you know, uncomfortable. It's true. It's not about having the answers, right? It's yeah. about asking the right questions, challenging what we think we know trying to see things from different angles. What's the like biggest takeaway from all of this? Hmm. AI superpowers, sentience, the possibility of things going really wrong. I don't think it's about getting scared or disillusioned by technology, you know? It's about approaching AI with a sense of wonder, definitely, but oh. also with our eyes open to the potential risks. And realizing that, you know, we all have a part to play in figuring out how this technology develops. Exactly. It's easy to think of AI as this separate thing, like it's all happening in lab somewhere, but it's already part of our lives and it's only going to become more so. So this isn't just a conversation for like the experts, the coders, the tech giants. No way. It's a conversation for all of us. So next time you're using a chatbot or you see a news story about AI, just take a minute. Think about it. Are we using this technology responsibly? What are the ethical implications? Are we even ready for a world where the lines between human and machine are blurry? Don't just think about what AI can do. Challenge yourself to think about what it means. What does it mean for our jobs, our relationships, our very idea of what it means to be human? To be human in a world of intelligent machines. That is the question, isn't it? On that note, we'll leave you with that to think about. Yeah, maybe AGI is really leading us to understand what it means to be human, to have this AI tech help us. Remember that famous Google paper, Attention is All You Need? It's often cited as the beginning of our current boom, like chat GPT. But it wasn't about creating some sci-fi level artificial intelligence at all. 
the author were actually just trying to improve language translation and people started claiming it would lead to a thinking, feeling computer. The authors weren't aiming for sentience or super intelligence. The book super intelligence and that paper are where the myth of AGI all started. All of a sudden, you heard people talking about how we're on the brink of creating an AI that's smarter than humans. Always predicting what is going to happen in two to five years. Always two to five years. And rarely, if ever, have they been right. Myths spread false beliefs, leading to harmful actions and misconceptions. Like the myth of superintelligent AI, AGI, artificial general intelligence. Or being obsessed with predicting the future, which normally no engineer or scientist would do. Now let's get into the reality of how AI might improve our lives instead of cowering in fear of the AI tech that isn't not even close to being what it's promised to be.